Welcome to the weekly market update from Signature Wealth Management. I'm Brian Ransom, Research Director from Signature Wealth, and here's what happened in the market this week. Two weeks after the start of the war, and two and a half months since the start of the year, volatility continues and the market is down 8% from all-time highs. Depending on what the market does today, the S&P could break out of the two-month-long downtrend or continue its downward trajectory. Europe continues to dominate the news headlines this week, with Russia pushing on the western borders of Ukraine. Early hopes of a peace agreement appear dashed. And for the first time since 2018, the Federal Reserve has elected to increase interest rates 25 basis points or 0.25%. Typically, when the Fed increases interest rates, this can cause an increase in volatility in the stock market as the world adjusts to tighter monetary policy. As we saw in 2015, increased volatility coincided with the first rate increase since the global financial crisis. Often, the Fed can raise rates a bit too quickly to combat inflation, causing a second round of volatility like we saw in late 2018. But these rate increases allow the Fed to inject liquidity into the stock market should economic headwinds like the coronavirus emerge. The question is, With 7.5% inflation, how quickly and how high will the 2022 rate increase go? Based on futures, the bond market is currently predicting a 60% chance of one rate increase or 25 basis points by May, with a 40% chance of two hikes. By the end of the summer, the same futures market is predicting a 37% chance of three rate hikes and 47% chance of four. And by the end of the year, the market is predicting a 40% chance of six rate hikes and a 47% chance of more than six increases. As a comparison, the 2015 to 2018 rate increase took two years to reach six rate hikes. Therefore, the market is expecting a much more accelerated process of monetary tightening from the Federal Reserve. Now, It should be pointed out that this futurist market is miserable at accurately predicting rate heights. But currently, the bond market is expecting a very hawkish Federal Reserve. For more information on this topic or a variety of other topics including market updates, financial planning, and wealth management, please like, subscribe, and follow. Don't forget to check out our new podcast, Up and to the Right. New episodes for Up and to the Right drop on a bi-weekly basis on all your favorite podcasting apps.